What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Roger. I'm back with another video. And if you saw about today's title, today I will be giving you a men's clothing haul for summertime, summer pickups video. Pickups, clothing haul. I'm going to show you guys just basically a couple items that I did pick up for summertime. Now, I have not done one of these in a very long time. The last one I did was obviously for spring, and I actually really enjoyed doing these because I do accumulate a lot of clothing, a lot of shoes, hats, accessories, pieces. I just accumulate a lot of stuff over the two one month span that i do the videos apart so i have a lot of new items for you guys to see and honestly i think this is my best clothing haul yet i think the pieces that i have in this clothing haul are literally insane like a lot of the pieces i wouldn't expect i would have in my wardrobe or in my closet or just sitting in my room at all but before we get into the video if you are new to my channel i do make fashion related content so stick around and hit the subscribe button and follow me on my instagram and tiktok at jayden x Monroe. but if you are a returning subscriber make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so i know that you're enjoying my content and just thank you so much for your support so let's go <laughs> So I don't know what I necessarily want to start with first. I'm going to obviously start with shoes uh, and uh, and accessories as far as like hats and stuff. Uh, I want to get the minimal little stuff out in the beginning, then get into the actual depth of the clothing and pieces. So the first item that I am going to start with is... Now the first item I did... I don't know if I talked about this in a recent video or I showed this in a previous video, but I will just show it again just for... Um, summer quality purposes just for the video um i did get this uh new york yankees cap it's a snapback i did get it from a place called uniform studios um it has uniform studio literally embroidered on the side and like a gold kind of colorway and that overall hat is navy blue with a lavender brim which i think is actually very very dope this hat did come with a whole bunch of patches that did say uniform studio but i did not put any on obviously because i don't know what i'm doing so i'm not even gonna take it there now the second hat that i do want to talk about my dad recently picked this up for me now i not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i don't know what team this is i think it's the los santos i'm not mistaken i'm not familiar with basketball i'm not familiar with baseball at all so i literally don't know what team this is and i wouldn't even know what to search up for this team like do i search a baseball team that starts with ls like i literally don't know but we're just gonna get into it um it's like a navy blue hat again but this one is kind of dull it's kind of acid washed which gives it like a black kind of grayish tone with uh just red embroidery on the front and then at the top i think this red at the top is literally so fire like just that sticking out is literally so fire this one is an adjustable hat so it's a little more fitting to the head um and these are a little more my style i literally have one on right now i think it's the new york yankees one i think this is the mom one yes yeah, mom one very very thankful and grateful that he was able to pick this up for me now going to the last hat this has to be my most favorite pickup of the year overall it is this brown trucker hat um honestly this is a, like a trucker hat front mixed with a snapback back because it does have a snap on the back um and then it just says Ferrera on the side and then it has la in this kind of fiery font and then it has a rope um right on top the only problem i do see with this is that the top right here i don't really like the extra space because my head is not fitting directly up here it's only halfway and this is just sticking out but i guess it gives the hat its shape and it gives the hat its form which you know it's it, it, it makes sense it makes sense okay now i will move on to my shoes now i did talk about these in a couple videos i did talk about in my top 10 affordable sneakers that i did release for 2021 um now this this shoe this shoe is so underrated that this whole entire brand is underrated i think the brand is called the double cross if i'm not mistaken now this shoe i only paid 60 dollars for it and i think that is not bad at all now let's break it down a little bit it does have like a web kind of feature like like a like a easy cloud type of vibe going on at the bottom and then at the top it has like this hard shell now I've been waiting to show this on the channel since I've collectively gotten myself first summer because I did get these back in, I want to say early June, end of May. And I actually got these by accident. Let me tell you guys the story. Um, I put in a bid on StockX for these because I wanted to pay a lower price for them. And I was going to withdraw from the bid like two days after I put it in. But I woke up one day and they accepted my offer and they accepted my bid. So they automatically took the money out of my account um i should have canceled it right then and there i mean luckily i only paid 200 for these i don't think that's bad for 550s especially because these were going for like 330 and i did get away with only paying 200 but honestly these probably are my favorite shoe of the summer i like how this model is formed the only concern that i would have is this extra cushion on the side i don't like the way that it looks like aesthetically overall this colorway and this design is fire the all white model at the bottom you have the gray and the navy blue then you have the hints of navy blue overall the shoe is literally insane they're actually comfortable 
like i would say they're very comfortable like the insole um it does have an extra cushion on the heel with that extra space that i was talking about so that's what that extra space is it's just giving a little bit more cushion which makes for a very comfortable durable shoe now the next shoe that i do want to talk about i have not shown this anywhere except for my instagram and if you do follow me on my instagram you did see this but i did archive it and take it down um these are the university blue air journal ones i did not expect that i would have this shoe in my collection i didn't expect to get the shoe but my dad luckily and i and i'm blessed to have him and i'm and i'm thankful that he was able to get this for me because what he did he went into the sneakers app exclusive access and he was able to pick up my size so that is very very dope when, when he sent me the picture i literally was freaking out i'm like bro how did you get those like like how did you get those i did lace this shoe i did put the black in them and they also have blue laces but i don't know if i want to put the blue lace in them I just don't know because I don't even know where I'm gonna wear these, but I definitely wanna wear them before summer's over. Okay, so I feel like I've been talking about this across my channel in multiple, multiple videos. So if you are a returning subscriber and if you literally dedicate yourself to watching my videos, then you know what I'm about to say. I will be wearing shorts this summer. Sad, sadly, management said I'm gonna be wearing shorts this summer. Management said I have to. Management said it's a necessity. Management said it's essential. So the shirts that I do have here, I did get these in 2020. These are from Cotton On. They're called beach shorts, but these shorts, they're actually very, very comfortable. They're very, very nice. They're they're very light as well. So they're not heavy if you want to wear them in the summertime. And they come right uh, above the knees. So they're probably sitting about six, seven inches, which is not too bad, especially if you're about five ten six foot like i am i'm five ten so these shorts very really really are nice I, I i like it because of the shortness of the length and it's so comfortable and they kind of complement a lot of the outfits that i've been wearing now i do have another pair now this one is just a lighter version of them very very light version of them literally the same pair but uh yeah very very essential shorts like i said kind on go check them out they are called beach shorts now the next two pairs I did get from Old Navy. Um, I was going to Florida from that Florida trip that I did take in the middle of the summer or the middle of the spring and i didn't have any shorts so i had to go and run and get some shorts and i went to old navy and i did get these nice little um nylon activewear shorts now i know what you're thinking activewear no these were not specifically in the like workout section but these were like uh who am i kidding these are these are athletic type of shorts because they literally say activewear on it i don't know why i was trying to loophole myself around that these are literally athletic type of shorts they were in the workwear activewear section um yeah these are nylon shorts and they're about six to seven inches as well these sit a little longer than the shorts i just showed you but they're right above the knee as well and they're very stretchy very elastic band very stretchy on the legs very 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 stretchy now i also did get a pair in black this is the same black pair um i wanted to get a pair of black because i usually don't wear black shorts i have a whole bunch of different like gray new other neutral tone color shorts but black so i wanted to go ahead and get another pair of black and all the black ones i have are very very short actually the ones i'm wearing right now are literally short as hell so i wanted to get another pair that you know can fit me a little better and just might be a little longer now the last two shorts that i do want to talk about i dig these from h&m and i've talked about these a little in a couple videos as well um i've never showed the beige pair on the channel now <clears throat> i went into h&m one day just shopping i was waiting for a friend i just went in the mall and i and i saw these and i was impressed i was literally impressed because i've been shopping at h&m how i started getting into fashion i literally started shopping at h&m i was about what my sophomore year going to my junior year my junior year 2017 late 2017 early 2018 i literally started shopping at h&m like h&m was my essential place to go to for pickups for jeans for sweaters anything i had to go to h&m to go get it had to but i don't really shop there anymore but when i went in h&m and i saw these shorts i literally said i had to get them because they just give you such a like a like a workwear cargo type of vibe and it's actually very very dope i think the biggest addition to these shorts is this zipper on the side i think that really sells it for me because they're overall they're regular cargo shorts but i don't know the zipper on the side just gives it a lot more character and i actually really really like that they have a zipper and then they button and then you can tie them so it's no reason why you should be sagging this is no reason like it's literally no reason now i did get the same pair of shorts just in olive green i have a redundant thing where if i get one pair of shorts i have to get another colorway in them especially if i like that pair of shorts literally another colorway won't hurt and i feel like everyone does that 
if that's just me let me know in the comments but if you do that just let me know because if i see a pair of shorts that i like i'm gonna get a couple more colorways because same shorts just different colorway just tip of that five okay like i said i don't really need to talk too much these are just in olive green like i said the zipper gives it more character but i think especially on the olive green this yellow tag on the back also gives it a lot more character and i've never had a pair of olive green shorts so this is a first timer and it fits a lot of stuff in these shorts like i tell you it fit my mask my airpods my headphones my phone my wallet um some other stuff i had rings bracelets chains watches everything that i had in here it literally just fit everything okay now i do want to get into the pants that i did pick up for this summer um okay i did not essentially or ne like necessarily pick these specifically for summer but i did get these um prior to summer or during you know since summer started like last week so the first pair that we do have here are these uh slim fit dickies pants um, I did get these from Tilly's. Anyways, Tilly's is a very slept on fast fashion brand that you literally should go shop at because they have a lot of gems, a lot of a lot of things that people, a lot of people don't necessarily see, a lot of people necessarily don't shout out because it's Tilly's and they just don't know. They're underrated, they're underrated. Um, they fit really, really nice. They fit very nice. They go well with a lot of shoes that I've tried to pair with them. And if one roll up makes them even better, but uh, I think I dried them. Like after I washed them, I didn't hang them up. And I think I dried them so they might be shrinking a little bit. I don't know. But I did get this pair in a khaki colorway. And then I do have another pair in just a gray stone type of colorway. And similar to how I get my shorts, if I see a pair of pants that I like, I'm going to get another color. I like the gray pair more than a khaki. I haven't really found a fit to wear with the khaki colorway. But, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to find something. We're going to find something. All these clothes, and you tell me I can't find just one fit, we're going to find something. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the shirts. Now, this shirt is this all navy blue shirt with Bayonet Boys Club on the black. These are all embroidered um, work. Uh, the cactus is in the middle, the little squiggly lines on the side, and the little UFO hovering to get somebody. And another cactus on the front. My dad did pick this up for me. If you see me with any Bayonet Boys Club, any ice cream teas, my dad. Um, I did get this in the medium, and it does kind of feel like a large. So, Bayonet Boys Club, I feel like they kind of run big a little bit. So, if you're looking to buy anything or, you know, actually try the pair of fit with this once and i really haven't tried the pair with anything else but you know i can keep trying of course one fit is just not enough a lot of the times and especially because i didn't get any good pictures with that fit so we will definitely be wearing this shirt again um but yeah it's not too much to say about the shirt billionaire boys club shirt very very nice embroidered stitching very very nice colorway very very nice designs just a whole vibe for the summer like literally a whole vibe for the summer the second shirt that i do want to talk about is for my boys brand um it is called Stacks World, and as you see, you do have a Hunter x Hunter character. I don't know what characters is. I do not watch Hunter x Hunter. Um, you can probably talk to me about any other anime, but I don't watch Hunter x Hunter. I tried to watch it, and I literally couldn't get into it. But it just has Stacks World on this on the on the top, and a little star behind the main character. Then you have some Japanese lettering on the side, and then on the back you have a big S for Stacks World. Now, this quality of this shirt is actually very good. Um, it's very thick, and it's not too bad. Um, which is really good because this is my boy's brand and I wanted to support his brand because he's, he's doing good work, you know what I'm saying? Like he's doing good work and it's, it's, it doesn't cost anything to support your friends. It literally costs nothing to support your friends and you know, it just makes the relationship better. You know what I mean? Like I picked this up for my boy, I'm gonna style it. I'm gonna wear it out. I'm actually gonna wear it out. I'm not just gonna purchase it and just keep it in the closet. Like I'm actually gonna wear this shirt. Now the last piece in this video, I do want to talk about and I do want to explain the story behind this. So my dad ended up giving me this shirt and it kind of goes with my New Balance 550s. But the reason why he gave me the shirt is because he has literally two, three times the amount of clothes that I have. And he's cleaning out his closet and he doesn't want any more clothes. So he said, oh yeah, let me just give it to you. So I'm going through the same struggle. Like I literally don't want any more clothes. I'm trying to get rid of clothes and He's just like, oh, well, let me just add to your closet so I can get rid of my closet. So that's what he's been doing. He's been taking stuff out of his closet and just throwing it into my closet just to make my life even more hectic than it is with this clothing stuff. Like, it's just a lot. But I really, really like this flannel. Um, I don't even know if you call this a flannel. Like, this, this is one of those designs that just look too serious to call it a flannel. Like, this is probably like just a dress shirt. Like, I'm going to call it a dress shirt. I'm going to call it a flannel. Nice button up. Nice button up. And it was only $10. So I think he got this when he went thrifting. I'm not mistaken. Very, very nice shirt. It looks like it's going to fit really, really nice. And I actually have a fit already planned with this. So stay tuned. But that is all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this summer clothing haul slash pickups video. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite piece. And let me know what you will be specifically be wearing for summer and what other pieces that you have been thinking about getting. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell because I am dropping a lot of existing videos for the rest of 2021. So peace.